G'day, thanks for dropping by. My name is Jenny and I have a really big family and we're getting ready for a really big Christmas. So today is all about that last minute prep. Now we love Christmas in this home. Everybody loves getting involved from sharing a meal together, getting all the kids together so we can have some fun, from decorating the Christmas tree to wrapping lots of presents for each other, but more importantly, just coming together and celebrating our faith and some family time is really something that we look forward to every year. But for some people, Christmas time is a real struggle. Whether you've been through some loss, whether you've had some difficulties at work or some problems in the family, Christmas time has a, a way of bringing up all of those emotions and making us feel very fragile. So I just want you to know that you are truly loved, that you are valuable and that you're never ever alone. So always reach out. If you're having some struggles this Christmas, please reach out to somebody close by and have a little chat and see if you can get through this time. You can get through it together and then move into a new year and a new starting point. Now we have lots of fun traditions here in our family when it comes to Christmas time. So over the last, gosh, must be a couple of decades worth now, now each child gets to be an elf. Now the elf gets to pick the colours of Christmas and they also get to pick a fun theme so that we can decorate in that style. Now it's not all just fun and games, the elf also does all the hard work behind the scenes as well. So they help with the budget, they help with the wrapping, they help with all the buying of the gifts and all of the food prep. And it's a big help to me during Christmas time but it's also teaching them some fantastic skills. Now when we have our elves doing the colours and the theme for Christmas, it's always a surprise. So the colours aren't revealed until the tree gets decorated and this year we have gold, orange and red. So they're interesting colours, we haven't done those colours for a while. So there's been lots of guessing going on as to what the theme is going to be. And the theme is not known until Christmas Day. So all the children go to bed on Christmas Eve and when they get up in the morning the table is decorated in our theme and it's a big surprise for everyone, which is always really exciting. I actually think I can hear thunder outside. I think it's going to be an interesting day today. I think we might get some more rain. We've actually had a lot of rain recently, so another storm rolling through is no surprise at the moment, and it is terribly hot today. I finished wrapping all of my Christmas presents yesterday for family and friends, and my elves helped me, and we've packed them all under the Christmas tree. Now even Santa checks his list twice, so that's what I do too. In fact, I think I probably check mine more than twice. And it's a good idea if you did too, because it would be terrible to get up on Christmas Day and somebody miss out on something that you've had tucked away for them and you forgot to wrap it. So I have a list. Of course I have a list. On my list is everybody's name. Then I write down everything that I have bought them. I write down what it cost me so that I can keep my budget in check. Then the most important column is how many gifts did you wrap for that person? Because at the end of the gift giving, you want to make sure that everybody got everything that you bought them. So if I wrapped three presents or four presents, then I can check that off as I hand them out and I will know that everybody got what I wanted to give them. If we all remember that this is a very special time of year, it is a birthday party for Jesus and we need to come together and just have a really good time. So make sure you try and be as tolerant as you can, be kind to each other and show tons of respect. So I have a few things that I have to get done today. One of those is to make sure that I give my fridges and freezers a quick wipe out so that I've got lots of space in there to store all the food that we're going to have on Christmas Day. Now, because it is summertime, we normally have a cold meal. At our table, we will be having some ham, we will have some turkey, some roast chickens and some prawns. And then one of my daughters is making the Wombok salad, which is a family favorite. I'm going to be making some potato salad and then we'll probably just have some little cherry tomatoes and some cucumber as well. Then we follow up with some plum pudding, some custard ice cream, cream, and some sort of fruit salad or fruit skewers. 
So I'm going to go out now, get those fridges cleaned out. I'll show you the meat that I have already bought and then I'm going to pop down and get the fruit and veggie shop done. bought a smoked leg ham and it was 4.8 kilos and I bought a double smoked ham and it was just on 5 kilos. Now that's a lot of ham and we're not going to use all of that straight away so what we don't use on Christmas and Boxing Day I will dice and bag and freeze and use in future meals. Now in past years I've bought a full cooked turkey um, to share at the dinner table, but this year, simply due to the cost of it, I've bought a half a turkey. Now I bought two three kilo boxes of the black tiger prawns. These prawns are cooked and frozen, and then the night before Christmas, I will defrost them and if you need to do that in a hurry, you can put them in a little bit of water with some rock salt. They'll keep their nice salty flavor, but they will defrost much faster. Okay, so we've just come down to the fruit and veggie shop. We're going to get all of those last minute bits and pieces that we need. Brought a couple of kids with me to help. Katie, you've got the list, so that's the most important part. And um, let's get this done and get home again out of this heat. Now I bought a bucket of plums and some cherries. I got a couple of punnets of strawberries and some blueberries as well. I bought a tray of mangoes. They look and smell so good. a bucket of tomatoes, and also a few containers of cherry tomatoes. I bought four continental cucumbers, and two iceberg lettuces. We found a lovely watermelon, two rock melons, and a honeydew melon. I bought a small bag of grapes and a bucket of peaches. I also got two bags of carrots and two large bags of potatoes. Now into the trolley went two bags of honey soy crisps, I got a bag of mushrooms. We're going to turn these into the baked mushrooms where we add sauce and cheese and put them into the oven. I got some boiled peanuts, that's a treat for dad. I got four containers of dip, French onion and gherkin and three camembert cheese. Now of course with all of our shops I'm buying milk so I bought six three litre bottles and I couldn't forget to get the ice cream for Christmas Day so I bought two four litre containers. Now I bought some assorted flavoured milks, some Jats crackers to make some savoury platters, four loaves of white bread, some assorted lollies, and some jam drop cookies and it all came to four hundred and thirty seven dollars and fifty five cents 
Now, if you would like to see what our theme is for this year, Christmas 2023, make sure that you are following us on Facebook and Instagram. And on Christmas Day, I will be posting some photos of all of our decorations and what our theme is. We will be filming on the day, but I won't be editing on the day and putting a video up. So, if you want to see that theme, go make sure that you are following us on our social pages and you will see it there and then. And make sure you pop over to our YouTube channel, The Bunnell Family, and subscribe. We'd love to have you stay here with our big family. So do keep an eye out for that post on our socials about the Christmas theme and there will be videos coming before the end of the year. We'll have a Christmas theme video and also how the day went with all the family coming here for lunch. And if I don't see you again before Christmas, I wish you all a very merry and blessed Christmas and much peace in the new year. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. God bless.